have this feeling, feeling. Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now Day 11, we're uh, up bright and early. We're off to um, Bush Gardens in Tampa. It's like an hour and a half drive. So uh, we've got fuel to get as well. So it's like, what, 20, I don't even know. It's about 20 past eight. So uh, Bush Gardens, fuel, and uh, we'll see when we get there. Hello, we actually uh, here, made good time. Didn't take quite as long as uh, we expected. Roads are pretty clear. So yeah, we're now here. It is uh, 9.53, park opens at 10 o'clock. So let's, let's show you crowd levels. We did see some school buses uh, parked up here today. So hopefully there's not too many uh, school children making the park busy. Last time we were here, it was um, some kind of bank holiday. President's Day or something, and it was really, really busy. We didn't get everything done that we wanted to. Hopefully it's a bit better today. So yeah, let's take you in and have a look. So just a security bag check, we've just seen the sign here. These tracks are close today. That is quite a lot, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. It's quite bad really when you're coming for the day. But uh, we'll go and we'll see. See what it's like. Um, Because they did see a sign that you're not allowed outside food and drinking, so we're just seeing. I think I think we've passed them bits now. Right. Uh, so I think we, I think we've got through uh, with our uh, sandwiches and um, drink. That's good, but yeah, this is why we didn't, didn't get them confiscated. So. Right, so I think we're just going to go and get a. Um, I remember last time we got a uh, for for Noah for queuing. So we're just going. Uh, in the queue for uh, Christmas relations and get one of those. It's good as we, we make good time for a change and uh, we arrive before the park properly opens so we can get all this sorted. So that's good. So we've got the DAS pass that was really quick, straight to uh, the front Christmas relations, no queue. So it's a, tick, um, a paper based system, the same as obviously SeaWorld, same um, group of parks, and same as Universal as well. So it's paper based, so you go and get a return time. And then obviously you call back at the, the allotted time. It gives you the, the amount of time of the standard queue, you just don't have to wait in the queue. So we hoping uh, we hoping to walk now to uh, Cheat Hunt and do that first. A little bit unsure of this park. Uh, could do with the map, probably have to get the app, I think. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to do Cheat Hunt, Snow can do that, we can all do it. So we're gonna go and find that. So we found cheetah hunt and just across the uh, path there we've got three cheetahs somewhere then how amazing do they look so close like a meter away from them you can see how long the legs are aren't these one of the fastest uh, animals ah the fastest yeah. land animals oh i'm sorry amazing you give me a nice big cuddle like Belle. Amazing. Me and Noah's just having a look. Right, you're going to ride the ride. Cheetah hunt ride. Yeah. Yeah? What's it? Do they know about Belle? I don't know. Have you ever... Um, 
Uh, probably not, no. So Belle is our cat back at home in the UK. No, no loves it, don't ya? Yeah. Yeah. Right, come on then. We're going to do a cheetah hunt. I think is this one here. Right, so we uh, switched to the GoPro now on my wrist. Cheetah hunt, we found it. No one can ride this, you're excited aren't you? First time. Yeah. Okay. We're excited now is... First time. You ready? So we're now going to do Cobra's Curse. We're going up with you again. We would have gone up to do Mont uh, I think it's one two up there, but it's close today. So we'll do Cobra's Curse right now. And then we'll have a look at the map and I think we'll go back on ourselves and go the other way and see what rides there are that way. Did you try that last one then? Yeah, I did. She did. She enjoyed it. Yeah, we're going to go all the way up there. Okay, we're going to go up. Huh? There we go. Whoa. Oh, look at the giraffes. So cool. Pull up some air. <laughs> Don't have to see hippos in zoos. Oh, look at that, Noah. Wow, look at that. Are you trying to catch his face? No, I think he's looking at you. <laughs> he wants you for lunch. <laughs> Well, I was looking at the tail end here of a Nile crocodile. Can't see his head. But he is absolutely huge. So I was looking at the hyenas right now. Oh, there's another one. There's two. Just walking through the path and the next set of rides. And there's just a few animals that are neatly as you walk through on either side. You can see the uh, 
but no uh, feeders and test labs. So the feeders here. They can sit and watch. It's pretty cool. I've not seen that before. But maybe about the finish though they're not ready yet to do it. So we're not too late for the procedure. We uh, just wait for the meerkats to come for their annual exam. So, uh, once they arrive, we'll uh, show you. So I've just got one of the meerkats. You can see on the cameras up here. Can't tell. I'm pretty sure that's There we go. So we can examine it. I'll have to get a little closer look at the face to see which one. Um, but they're going to give it a little bit of gas anesthesia and they're just going to let it take a nice little nap so that it doesn't feel anything while we're doing its exam. Yep, yeah, he's going to feel all the bones, make sure everything feels like it's in the right place. Yep, she's going to take his temperature. My open bone. So now we're just doing the ultrasound. You can see the ultrasound on the screen here. So it's pretty cool, the, uh, the veterinary procedure. We've come outside to uh, come ride some more rides. I'm not sure what this one's called, I'll look on the map. It is huge all the way up there. No one wants to see if he's a bit tall enough to go on it. So I think we're going to go and check to see whether he is. I'm not sure how, how, I'm not sure how we're going on this one. I don't like these ones, to be honest. Falcon's Fury, it's called. Uh, it's not open at the moment anyway. We're going to get it to open, it says. We need to be minimum 54 inches for this one. So I've got to say, at the uh, entrance of the park, they had the, um, all the different heights um, and, and rides above of what people can ride and you stand underneath it, like there was actual heights you can see. So I took the photo there, which is good, we can uh, pull that up on my phone as we go around to see amounts of his uh, kind of nose height and some of the rides that above that you can ride. Uh, I can put that photo in now, just to show you, it's a good idea. To help you as you're going around the park. So, Caitlin and Thomas are just having a little sit down. In the sun, playing on the phones. And Noah is going on bush flyers. So it's one of the more kiddie rides. So you have to be less than 56, well 56 or less for this one. Rather than the minimum height, it's a maximum height on this one. So no, it's just waiting in the queue. You ready to go on, Noah? Yeah. Are you excited for this one? He's going to ride this one all by himself, aren't you? Yeah, Thomas is too big for it. <laughs> Here comes our flyer. He's gone for a red plane, he's taking the front seat. Getting that all important belt on. Are you all ready? Turn they off. Where's Noah? Was it good? Enjoy it? Yes. So fun. Oh, that M. Um, you, know you have to pull the lever back towards you, it must be the to fly. Mm -hmm. um, do you know how um, there's two people in one of the planes and you want to go home? Yeah. Um, I was stuck with them to pull the lever to fly the towards them. <laughs> I don't know if they've heard me or not. Kelly's got a, a pretzel dog with a cheese sauce dip. 
So we had some of that, and the kids got the little snack biscuits. And Noah's riding bush flies again. It's nice in the shade, to be honest. And then we'll carry on round for some more rides. We're saying there's uh, here that we've got Phoenix. It's there. A lot further over, we've got Sand Serpent. And they don't seem to be open, but they weren't on the list at the uh, entrance of the park. They're not best pleased, really, to be honest, the amount of uh, rides that are closed. Other guests were saying as well, I was stood saying that you know, that's not open and that's not open. And there's uh, the other ride there, the Falcon's Fury, I think, they try to get that working. You know, when you pay to come in the park and you chose a particular day, it's the only day that you're coming, that would be all the other things you do on your, on your trip. Uh, it's not, not the best, really, uh, that you can't go on rides. Especially when it's rides that you can go on, there's the whole family as well. So, like, no one can go on Sansom, I think, so I remember doing it last time. Um, but, again, it is what it is. We'll carry on, there's a carousel around here. Go on, I think, no one can go on that. So we can do it. And I'll carry on round to um, some of the bigger rides, which I think uh, me and Thomas are probably definitely going on. Kelly May, Kayla May, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so let's look at this. Get ready to experience Kelly. Falcon's Fury. Por favor, vea su paso al momento de abordar. So yeah, Fountain Fury is now open, it's only Kelly and Thomas going on, I don't like these um, vertical drop rides like this, I do it on the roller coaster, but not on uh, this, this style of ride, it's not, not keen on it, but I'm excited to watch the Kelly and Thomas on it, but climb to the top. Coming down! Yeah, it looks like they enjoyed that. This is Noah's favourite ride, Scorpion. It goes upside down. So we went on it last time we were here. He was tall enough, it was his first loop. And he was so desperate to ride it again. Look at that, amazing. Great for uh, little children that you can go upside down. So that was Scorpion, we uh, rode it twice, it's so good and the queue is short. So we are going for some other ones, some bigger coasters, uh, we're going to try uh, Tigress. I've been on it when we came last time, it was the kind of new ride there in queue for an hour. Um, I hope uh, Kelly and I and Thomas are going to run it this time uh, and we can enjoy that one so we will uh, hopefully I'll go up for a video of that there now. So Tigris is uh, a little bit further in the park, so the next ride we come to is actually Cumba, 
So we're going to ride Kumba and then looking at the map there's some animals we can see. There's um, a ride for Noah to go on as well and then we come down to Tigris after that. So that's the plan what we're going to do. Crowd levels aren't bad at all. Uh, it's been pretty quiet so far. Whether that's just because it's on the smaller rides, when we come out on the bigger ones, there might be longer queues, not sure. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. But so far it's been pretty easy, had plenty of rides. It's, uh, it's only half past 12, didn't get in till like 10 o'clock. A little bit of rapids here. I think they're operating today. So I'm not sure where the river rapids is on today. There's a, uh, a car going round with nobody in. I guess if it's turned on, it's probably working, unless it's doing some testing. So I'll switch the GoPro now, go on and come back. Empty. We picked a good day today. It's like nearly basically walk ons on all the rides. So that's really, really good. So I'm not sure whether we'll ride multiple times or whether we will just get everything done early. This looks fun. Hello, Thomas. Hello. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. When did you become Australian? <laughs> Sounded more London. London, Australia. Nah, New Zealand. There's a car coming up the station. Here we go. <laughs> Thomas, is that better than the first one? What was that called again? Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah yeah. Sorry? Cheetah Hunt was better? No. No, that was better than Cheetah Hunt. Thomas likes this uh, cumber better than uh, Cheetah Hunt. This is a better view if you come around the corner. Come down the hill. You can even get in on the little uh, view window over there where you can see some people looking on the right hand side. So we're going to try and do that. So climb up the ladder. Yeah, look at it. Where's it? Oh. I can't see its head. I can't see its head. I can't see its head. It's facing the camera to do it. Yeah, it's heads either way, isn't it? But you can see how big he is, can't we? Look at the size of that paw over there. It's like the size of our head. Right, let's see what the people have a look. Noah. You made me bang my head. <laughs> Oh yeah, put your hand in. Uh, it's kind of just popping into Chick-fil-A, she loves it so much. She's going uh, to have a burger there. Um, and I'm going to take the kids round, just around the corner here, the left. Uh, there's, there's a splash pad area and it's the, um, the treetop trail thing. Noah, treetop trails, there you go. You following the stones? I wonder if the splash pad area is open. Oh, in the shirt, that's nice. 
thought it was going to be quite cold today when we got here. We had the little wind again. But no, it's red up. That's what it's called. So there's treetop trails and there's this jungala thing. Oh, well, the jungala's closed. I wonder if then if the if that's the whole kids play with the tree trails or whether jungle is different. This one. Wild surge is closed as well here. So I have a feeling that the treetop trail is closed as well. That is really bad. Like it's not even a ride, is it? We'll have a look around and uh, see if we can get on it, but I think the treetop trail is Jungala, they've got like kind of two names for it. So I think it might be closed, which is a real shame because it's not really rides. You know, could have kept that open for the kids to play really. But yeah, uh, let's go and have a look and we'll see uh, what, we, what we can find. This uh, would be the splash pad area. Uh, they've got closed off, it looks like it, I'm guessing, it's obviously it's kind of winter here and they haven't um, got it ready yet. You can see it's all covered in um, like debris from the trees and things. And I'm guessing it's not kind of the peak season yet, so they haven't bothered to do anything with it yet. So it's closed off there. Look, there is a lot closed, and more than what, more than what was on the sign when we came in. I don't want to feel like I'm I'm mourning. <laughs> you know, nobody likes anyone mourning. But you know, when you pay your, your ticket price and you come in, you expect, you know. Maybe there's sometimes one ride down, two maybe. Mechanical breakdowns you can't help it, but like a lot of it is just closed just because it seems to be out of season. But yeah. Uh, we'll go back and find Kelly then, let her know. Uh, it's closed. But uh, yeah, we're like coming round the park. It's like one o'clock, we're nearly finished. Not good really, is it? But anyway, right, so we're gonna find Kelly, Chick fil A, see how fast she's got down the queue. So he's got a little friend, he's just walked all the way over to us, jumped up on the wall. So um, just waiting for uh, Kelly with the uh, Chick-fil-A. The queue is really long, he's just waiting for her food now. Hello. Before I started filming he was going round and round in circles with her. <laughs> We're going around in circles, weren't you, with it? Huh? You come to me. I don't know where it is now. No. There she is. Eventually. How long did that take? Yeah, that Must have been about half an hour at least. Yeah. yeah. Ages. Well, no. The, like, the cross like No, it doesn't like them, does he? Yeah, it is. Cross cut uh, chips. Fries. This one. Nuggets. And the little nuggets look cute. Everybody, then, everybody enjoying it? We're just, um, kind of got this Chick fil A sauce. She was wondering, couldn't describe it. <laughs> I said, I think it's got a mustard taste to it. It kind of just like barbecue uh, flavors. Yeah. So just looking at the ingredients here. It's got barbecue sauce and natural hickory smoke flavour but kind of halfway down there it does have mustard in it Just going to have another taste Are they criss cross or what is? Criss cross fries, just fine That's all Yeah I can I, I can, I can taste barbecue in it and I can take, taste mustard in it Yeah I'm surprised you like it because you're like uh, barbecue or mustard really uh, I don't like it yeah, good sauce though, isn't it? Yeah. Good dipping sauce. So we've just been looking at uh, the photo that I took from uh, the entrance, which I think it had five items uh, that were closed. Uh, I'm just been calculating up. There was two near uh, where Noah had the uh, aeroplane ride. So that's seven. And then with the treetop uh, trail, that's eight. There's like eight attractions. All closed on, on one day. We were starting to kill you there, so we think it's really bad to be honest. I know it's kind of out of season, but still, bait rides is a lot uh, from one, one park on, on the same day. 
Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so it's what time is it? So it's 25 to 2, and like I said, we just about finished really. We've got Tigers to do. We might be. We've got the orangutans to go around. Uh, there is the area, I think it's like a bit like Sesame Street, Kelly. There might be some rides for Noah to do if they open. So, uh, although there's a lot closed that you kind of want to go on, it does make it a bit more of a chill day and you just uh, relax a little bit more, really. So we just come into the orangutan uh, enclosure. And he's, we found one, is on your... I've seen him. He is huge. We're just cutting through here. Uh, the orangutan, I think kind of the tiger enclosure over the water, there's a walkway bridge here. Um, go down to ride tigress. Two orangutans through there. I think on the other side might be the tiger one. I think that's the bottom of the tiger one, yeah. That we saw earlier. Oh, yes, that's one of the rides on the list. The uh, Stanley Falls Flume that's closed. That's about to close, obviously, for the season. The water ride. Uh, I think it's Sheikah through there. That's one that's also closed. I rode that last time. Um, so we're going to go for. Tigris, which is down here, I think that is. Yep, you can see the orange coaster through there. This is a really good ride. I wonder whether we can manage to ride twice, I'm not sure. But uh, I think it'll be me, Thomas, and uh, Kelly. So we're time's only 10 minutes. Uh, I know it's out of season, uh, it's a couple of why, but when I rode it when we were last here, uh, I think it kind of stormed now, I've queued for over an hour for it. <laughs> It again. Excellent. It's been intense, still, it was really good. I think our physical scream, that voice went high pitched. <laughs> no, I would love that, wouldn't you, if you could yeah, go on it? Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Hi, Noah. Me and Thomas are going on again, aren't we? Yeah. Loving it so much. Kelly's taking a, uh, a seat. Me and Thomas, we've only been 10 minutes in the normal queue. We're going to go on it again. Then we're going back to the villa. And yeah, and then back to the villa, I think. And then Mum said for tea, we're getting Olive Garden. Yeah, it's Olive Garden for food tonight. We were going to, uh, we had a, a reservation booked uh, in Tampa for it. Thank you. But with us not being uh, here, nowhere near as long as we thought we'd be, we'll just go back to the villa and uh, go to Olive Garden near the villa instead. Oh. 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 
but so good. <laughs> it's just too good. So good. Yeah. Tigers is great. The best? Mm, no. No? No. What's the best? Hold up. You can pull better than that? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Is Tigris the best course to, in yeah, here? Yeah, definitely here. In Bush Gardens. I mean, I haven't tried the other ones because yeah, everything's just Yeah, the ones that are close, off. but the ones that we've ridden today. Yeah. Tigris is the best in the part in uh, Bush Gardens, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. So we rode uh, Tigris twice. 10 minute wait, so not bad at all. We are on our way out of the park. We are just going to the... Um, we have the choice of using the um, train, Serengeti Express, or to walk and go through um, a Sesame Street section. Um, hours of fun or something it's called like that. So we've asked Noah and we've gone for, for the Sesame Street area in hope that uh, some of the rides are open and Noah can have uh, some rides of his own. 20 past two now. Uh, combination of the pool and Olive Garden, not sure which way around we're going to do it, but that's uh, the plan for the rest of the day. And hopefully, I remember I have time to show you our Universal and Disney Hall of uh, the items that we bought. It was, it was like a few days ago at Universal, we still haven't shown them, so it'll be good to show them. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. Are you ready? Oh, yes, here we go. No idea what this ride's called, it's in Sesame Street uh, area, Bush Gardens. We just saw them all across the track, so we just ran from it and we came on! Oh, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? Alright, So, this is the uh, Sesame Street area. For the small kiddies, I can see some rides are open definitely. They're moving around. Echo, echo. Oh, bad idea. Too quick for me. Oh, let's go. Sorry for the shaky video. <laughs> How hard does it go? Oh, my lace is undone. Gonna go well, is it? Go on. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Thomas is down! Right, I'm tired now. We too tall to run. Yep. We too tall now, come on, you go. Oh wow, look at that. This is good for the kids to play in. And Thomas, they need to go down the stairs. Come on then. Yeah. This place is sick. It's quite a bit sad. A good view from up here of all the uh, things. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I think we'll be out. Thomas is not really too tall to go in. I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm like that much. Getting a big boy. Here comes Noah. Noah! Okay! High five! That was amazing! So we found one more last little ride for Noah. Let's go have a little ride on here and then we're gonna go. Gonna come around this corner right now. 
Oh yeah. Just on the way out, just stopped off and found these turtles. We got one trying to cross the bridge. And then we've got three over here, just chilling. Right, so we're back at the car. We've had a great day out at Bush Gardens. Although there's been like, well, there's about eight attractions closed. We still had a good day. Been there from 10 to 3 o'clock now. It's been, uh, hasn't been too busy, so yeah, we've had a, had a great day out. And uh, let's drive back now. Right, we've arrived at the Olive Garden. Uh, we're going to go here first and then we can head back to the villa and just be set for the evening. We'll uh, chill in the pool when we get back. So uh, yeah, drive hasn't been too bad to be honest. Quite, quite busy, uh, but not too bad. So let's go and get some food in Olive Garden. Let's have a look at the menu. Appetizers. Soups and salad. Classics. Last time I got the two of Italy. You get three little uh, portions. This time I might get the chicken and shrimp carbonara. Kids get this uh, little book, activity book, and their menu on the back here. We've got some complimentary salad for the table for our um, food, <laughs> and we've got lovely warm door sticks as well, all complimentary for everyone. So you also get these. Um, I think it's called what's it? Z Ziosk on every table. So they've got like adverts on um, menu. You can you can actually place your order on here as well. Call your server. So it just randomly scrolls through itself. Or you can do it yourself. Um, so you can order all your items there. There's games and apps for the kids. No one's going to be playing. So there's unlimited play for one dollar ninety nine. Click, again, click Let's Play and it, um, I'm guessing it'll go on your bill. Which he knows he's done that by himself. <laughs> hasn't he? Uh, yeah, so there's all, all sorts of things there. Uh, keeps the kids happy. So he's giving me uh, playing on his there. <laughs> he's quite happy playing that. So yeah, the uh, <laughs> garden that we, uh, we've seen them last time were at Olive Garden, but don't know of any other restaurant that has them, do we? Not seen them before. Uh, something a little bit different. Okay, so the food is here. This looks gorgeous. This was the chicken and shrimp carbonara. Kelly got the fried mozzarella. This is that uh, style. What are you curling at? Chicken Alfredo, is it? Yeah. Thomas is uh, chicken strips, chips, and he's got pasta. For some reason, he's pulled up another plate. And now we've uh, got what was it, pasta and chips. Yeah, plain pasta and chips. He says he likes it. No, I can't get it. So this is what I've left. I am stuffed. It was the, probably the best pass I've ever had. It was amazing. I'll definitely suggest to try this one. The chicken and shrimp uh, carbonara. Kilns uh, about finished. Thomas is going to take his chicken home. He's had his pasta. Yay. There was had what he's had. 
Kelly's had some of the mozzarella um, sticks. We had, did have sticks, but yeah, fried mozzarella. That was it. Yeah, she had some of that. She's going to take the rest home with Thomas's chicken. Um, we're going to get this to take out for dessert, and we'll have that uh, later tonight, I think. But all in all, it was really good meal. Really good meal. So I'll do another video with the uh, the cost on coming right up. So we also get these uh, miniature mint chocolates just to finish off with. They bought us loads for some reason, yeah. Um, they bought us the bill there as well. Uh, it was missing the um, dessert off. I was like, we'll take that one please. Uh, so he's just got to change the, uh, um, the bill, the receipt. I'll bring us back to hot water and I'll show you the cost. But. So we got these uh, cool little boxes, takeaway boxes, lid, hinge. So we've got our food in there, and um, it's alive that box. Right, uh, so we've got the bill here, to there, so it comes to, that's not bad actually, $63.55 plus a tip. Yeah, that's not bad at all, but we've had really, really good food, really good meal, full up. So we've just come over to um, Ross, dressed for less. Elliot heard that, um, it's like really good uh, prices for um, like branded clothes and things like that. It's a bit like a, a TK Maxx. Not sure. So let's, let's have a look at these. So are these for example. Colours slightly off here, I can see. And it's like $16.99. Really good value. I'll try and show you some other items. Uh, this uh, green one here, which is like 31. Really nice. Mask. Hold that one up, Kelly. How much is that one? Um, two. 32.99. 32.99 for that one. It's like really good, isn't it? Oh, that's a big one. Uh, things like it's Calvin Klein. I think it's a dress. And it's. $20 basically. So, yeah, there's lots of things like that uh, in the store. Right, so we're back at the villa now. Um, Noah's just going to bed and uh, just getting things sorted. We at Discovery Cove tomorrow. Um, we've got the uh, Swim with Dolphin booked as well. We've done it before and um, we want to do it again because we liked it so much. We had the, the same offer as we had last time. Uh, we've got the ticket in the Black Friday sale on the Discovery Cove website. Uh, which included Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. The price again, it's like around about 900, is it dollars or pounds? I think it's dollars, isn't it? Pounds. Pounds, so about 800, 900 pounds, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a good deal, and it's for um, kind of SeaWorld and, and um, Bush Gardens. I think it's like a 14 day ticket, so you can just go whenever. We only ever go the once, like the one day, really, um, Bush Gardens, especially with it being uh, like an hour and a half away. I just want to show you, uh, I kept promising you, the, I've got the haul down here of all the items we, we bought recently that we haven't showed you and the prices and things. So the price of these we had, uh, this is $25 and this one was I think 28 and then we had a annual pass discount of 5.30 so it came to five. Uh, sorry, it came to $50.80 for those. So the next items that we got, we got these from the uh, Bourne Stuntacular um, store. So I got this grey t-shirt here, which was $27, and then Kelly got this pink, it's a little little bit like a spirit jersey, um, it's this one here, let's see if I can quickly flip it over to show the back. So that's got Universal Studios on the back there, and this one was $57, let's have a look at the receipt here. Um, so we got annual pass discount of eight forty, and with tax and everything, so it came out at um, eighty dollars and fifty two cents for those two. And then the next item which uh, we got in the big Universal store, I think in um, I think it was Islands of Adventure. You got this hoodie here, which was thirty seven dollars, and then I also got this nice um, mug. So it's one of the vacuum ones, vacuum insulated, so it keeps things cold, keeps things hot. So it's pretty big and heavy. Um, I've got that, kind of, if you're using it at work, I need a new water bottle at work, so 
could use it for water, could put hot chocolate in it, um, and that was $29. Uh, so between these two, we got an annual pass discount of $660. So the total for those was $63.26. And then from World of Disney last night, uh, we got this t-shirt for myself. This was uh, $29.99. And then Noah got this uh, Donald hat. So like Thomas's, but the Donald one. And this I think was $24.99. And if I remember, I will put the picture in of him uh, trying it on in the store. And then we, uh, I'm not sure whether we showed this one, uh, Kelly Spivet jersey, we got on the first day of Magic Kingdom in the Emporium. This was, it's actually pink, the, the colours, uh, the lightning here is awful as I said. It's actually like pale pink um, and it was $74.99. And then the back like this. And then last night in uh, World of Disney, Kelly got this Spivet jersey as well. She really, really loved it. It's an expensive one. But she really, really loved it. This one was one hundred and nineteen dollars ninety nine plus tax. But it's uh, it's like pale purple, like more of sequins. I'll show the back. What Disney World right across the back and sequins. So yeah, it's really nice. And then uh, in World Disney as well, we got these two mugs. We got that one there. And this one here, and they're both fourteen ninety nine dollars each plus tax. So that is all of our haul uh, so far. I think uh, if we get any more items, we will uh, show you. Um, and that is uh, it. I think for today, we're just going to um, finish getting things sorted, to have a little snack. Uh, and probably go to bed ready for um, Discovery Cove um, coming up next so see you later thank you for watching please like and subscribe and we will catch you next time <laughs>